and, and won. Well, and you know, you're thinking about it, right? Now, leading up into Mexico, they're starting to turn back up. They're starting to win week after week. This could be back-to-back -back weeks that they win it, right? So maybe that reciprocity getting towards the event, they're starting to play a lot harder. They're starting to practice more. And maybe that's the reciprocity we expect to see. But what I do know, Rise Nation is here. They've got momentum on their back end already up close. Is going to be Powers taking Detox out, who, by the way, had a shot, it looked like, from the flank to uh, potentially connect. He could have got a chunk in that situation, but it goes to waste. Battle for B still taking place. Reciprocity, they're going to be the first ones to cap it. Yeah, Rise Nation pushed pretty far back as the B Hill does finally get capped. But on the other end, Drake sits it down on the rushies. The trades do come through. Members of Rise. Up top, you see one kind of in middle power is going to get approached. He is there waiting. He misses the shot. Detox does not miss his. Rise Nation now are on the B Hill, so Reciprocity build a very tiny lead, but that is going to be gone very, very shortly. You're seeing Franchise as a teammate with him, but three members of Rise Nation quickly approach. Defending that neutral hill as best they can. And a Detox, couple more kills. Yeah, Detox gets a little antsy. Should have a revive. Let's see if they get that kill finish. They haven't just yet. Rise Nation are actually going to choose to let Detox fall. But look at player number eight all by himself up top, right? He just goes straight into A. Player number five is going to meet him over there. It's going to be Franchise to take him off. But actually, another player from Rise is, in fact, going to join. And this battle is going to be pretty massive as a lot of resources being allocated over towards A just to get the home hill. And if Rise isn't careful, they could get counter-wiped here. And that's it's only a short jaunt over that little pass. That little archway, if you will, towards the home hill. And actually, it looks as if Franchise is going to be well ahead of the game, right? He's going straight to Enzim, but he's going to be the only one at this location. So we're not going to have a full push over here. But in the end, though, it is, in fact, going to be Reciprocity regaining control, and they're also about to take the point lead. Yeah, a lot of trades back and forth. Saw a couple fights over towards the home hills, but in the end, no one able to get that double home hill set up just yet. But Enzim looking to change that. Has Powers in front of him. I believe Powers does have a little bit of reinforcements behind him, and Powers <laughs> gets the better of that engagement. Back A's ends up right into the respawn screen. Now it looks like Rise Nation are potentially making their move over towards the middle side of the map, over towards the B hill. They do get the break. Powers is going to make his push over to the home hill. Oh, and Vexy showed himself way too early, too. He could have had a probably a nice rap shot or chunk. And there's Shock with a double kill again. Shock continuing to make big plays. That's three members down, four reciprocity. Rise Nation begins to move forward. And Vexy's applying pressure to the last two remaining members. Ooh. Reciprocity answers back. Kenny gets one, but Detox is on the flank. Powers needs to make a play. Does end up falling to the hands of Detox now. You can see Detox edge forward over towards the A hill. Icy trying to play some defense, but he's surrounded. He gets one. Unable to grab another one. Rushy's not spawning back in. Fran not spawning back in. Reciprocity conceding the round. Rise Nation start tiebreaker. Leading one to zero. They're coming off a 5-3 victory off of training grounds. They were already pumped up from that. Now to start the round or the third game in grand finals to potentially secure their third championship. They take round number one. They've got to be feeling even better. They've got to be feeling on top of the world, and it's going to be hard to shut them down. Reciprocity has to find an answer. A well-fought round between these two. There's plenty of moments, especially in mid-game, where Reciprocity could have edged out another victory. And I'm looking at that time where Franchise, along with his teammates, retook A and pushed over towards C. If they would have committed, that could have been a, a bold play. But then again, you got to be thinking Rise would have popped on the B. But in the end, though, we are going to see take, uh, Rise take a 1-0 lead. Still a lot of rounds to be played here. Let's see how this initial pops off. See a little bit of a stalemate over towards the neutral. It looks like Rise Nation have more members over towards B. At least for now, you can see Reciprocity begin to inch over. Yeah, Kenny's going to make that rotation right over the neutral. Sort of match members of Rise Nation and both teams kind of just figuring out where the push gets to be made. Flashes come through. There's the counters. Enzem starts to push up. He's getting drilled by a few different players of Reciprocity. Going to fall. Vexy should be there for the revive, but here comes the push now. Using that opportunity second to, get some or sorry, to get some positioning. Uh-oh. Two dead for Rise. Train comes on one side. It's going to pin the other two members. 2v2 situation. Fran gets one. Fran doesn't get the second, so now Kenny versus the Vexy's meat shield tries to get close. Kenny taking a pretty low health, but a Vexy's going to be hurt a little bit just the same. He can't make that push. He needs There's to get no a touch. Way. He needs to up A. Speed boost is not going to do it for you there. One to one. Reciprocity answers back. And Quick one minute round. 
And yeah, in even quicker fashion, right? A one-minute round coming through, getting that domination. They just, you know, they did well off that initial rise. They committed, I think, four players on the B. Uh, and in the end, you know, it just didn't happen. And it, and it really started with uh, uh, Vexies getting pushed back. And then I think at, at, at one point, then it was... Uh, it was Detox who ended up joining him over there, and they just couldn't get anything to work. And four players uh, died on that side on tracks, and then I think the last player ended up dying on A. And it's just there's just not a lot you can do. Avexis couldn't get the touch, and then that was all she wrote really. So once again, another initial is going to take place. We're deadlocked one to one. We'll see what Rise can do in this situation. Got a franchise powers and Kenny stacking up. Smoke is going to be placed out, and that's going to open up the door for Vexies to push for, right? That main slayer. Let's see if he can get some work done. Franchise is going to be dropped. Couple players being traded out, Ryan. But in the end, it looks like Reciprocity is pushing Rise back. Yeah, 4v4 to start the map off. You're going to see powers with a bit of positioning towards middle. Going to get tagged up, begin to be approached. You know the information, though. He knows Detox is there. and. It's like a member of Rise Nation is actually pushing into A. So aggressive. That's Drix. I mean, Drix, yeah. He does get the kill on the rush. He's pushes forward. I believe he'll be met by Icy. Looks like Drix finally ends up being dropped. The numbers advantage. We're definitely favoring Rise. You're going to see them begin to advance forward. Kenny tries to get one of the kills, but he gets tagged up. Detox with some great teamwork. He's going to move forward on the franchise as well. So Detox just being an absolute nuisance behind the enemy lines. Two members do go down for Reciprocity. It's going to put Rise Nation at a good early advantage. Detox turns around and gets one. That should give them the B hill at the very least. You're going to see Rush fall. Icy trying his best to get out. Going to very likely fall oh, as well. And Rise in a good position. This might just turn right into a trip cap, Taylor. Kenny is trying to defend his hill. He has one player behind him. Unless they make a big play, this could be a Rise Nation trip cap. I think it's definitely going to be Powers. It's going to be coming off the flank. Kenny is actually going off inside. He manages to get one. Drix, though, will get the drop. Powers will also be finished off. Rushies and Icy, there's no way. They might be able to get a touch, but they won't be able to get a full break. And that's going to be it. Rise in another quick round. A minute and 38 seconds will now take the lead 2-1. We're trading off pound for pound. We're already inching our way up towards the second half very soon. A lot of heavy breathing right there towards the end. I don't know if you heard that in your audio. No, I, I definitely did, and I don't want to hear that again. He's, they swarm. <laughs> Some hard work out there on the battlefield. Hey, man. Look, it's constant sprinting. You're talking about if you're the swarm man, you're freaking carrying all that weight. I don't know. Looks like we're going to see the incense placed over on the Rise Nation side. Reciprocity very likely to go ahead and match it. So initially going to get a little bit different now with those incense grenades. Definitely could be right. We're in the last round now of the first half, so every respawn you got, throw it out there. In terms of just respawn economy, it looks like both teams very, very healthy. Rise Nation all at four. A couple members of three on reciprocity. But for one round, I'd say plenty of lives on both ends. And it was at this point on training grounds, we already saw a drop shot be in place. So at this point, it's not going to be there. And uh, we might not see it. Might just see utility. A shock, just no respect towards powers. Runs right through them. Franchise get dropped. Kenny will stay alive. Oh, I thought that. Well, it doesn't even and matter. Kenny, yeah. Shock. He just connects. And Icy now trying to put his hat in the ring. But I don't think he can get through Shock. Shock has just been playing so well from training grounds to this. And you saw just the, the confidence he had there. Just 100%. Literally beeline right through the defense of Reciprocity. Got the opening kill. Now puts Rise Nation in a great, great situation now with this. Two cap, they're building a lead. The train's now cutting off the other end. It's going to build up some more seconds. So Powers and Icy stuck behind that train. Again, Reciprocity seemingly going to make a push for the neutral hill. The Rise Nation are kind of just waiting, right? They're kind of figuring out where the utility's going to come from, right? Where the players are going to funnel through. They have good angles. You can see that shock and Vexy just set up. They have detox towards the middle. Early utility comes through. Here comes the push. Yeah, it's going to be a big push. If they push Rise back, that could open the door for a, a potential flank. You also have a couple players battling up top and mid. So there's going to be a lot of blood spilled here. And the question is, who's going to end up on top? Well, Bravo's going to be locked in. Train's going to be pushing through. That could make things a little bit interesting. I see we'll go ahead and backtrack. And Rise. Just as quickly as Reciprocity was able to capture B, they get the break, and they're going for the reverse cap themselves. You see Icy putting that new shotgun to use that little bit of uh, extra chip damage, I'd say, following it up with a chunk. Detox trying uh -oh. to try to bait him out this very quickly. That's a three down for Rise Nation. Of course, we are on quick spawn, so you've got to imagine the players 
We'll be back very, very soon. But Reciprocity, they do finally now grab that two cap. You see they still have the win condition, right? Cog will still win at the top of your screen, but they have to hold that two cap for a very, very long time in order to make that come true. You know, Rise Nation are going to have those new incense off spawn. They're going to have fresh utility. It's going to be very hard to defend this one more time, especially without some of those pieces of utility that you kind of used in that initial push. Powers going to push on Drix. If he can get that kill Taylor and get That's over to A, huge, that would be yeah. massive. Even though they lost but B. But Ryze just got to hold a B yeah, now. Yeah, they, he has to push now. That's, that's yeah. his, he has no other choice. Look at, oh, look, no, he missed the look shots. Look at our picture in picture. Rise Nation are completely dominating the B side of the map. Drix wins the 1v1 against Powers as well. Of course, Reciprocity does the last spawns out because you have to, but this round is as good as over. Yeah, it's 100% over. Rise is going to solidify yet another one, and they're going to have a nice lead going into the it's second. A, and this is the first time they've a, had a lead like this. That's a big swing, yeah. They it's lost map one, made the huge comeback on map two. We're really starting to see but them. But even, even going into second half, though, they were down, I think, 3-1. You no, know I'm saying they, had, they, they, won, they lost map one pretty bad. Map two, they were down by a good margin, stormed back. So, yeah, like you said, this is really their first real lead of the series, yeah. and now... They're on a roll. So they won, was it four straight? Yeah. On map number two. Yeah. Yeah. Now into a 3 1. So just completely dominating the last set of rounds. And now I'm thinking we, we have to see a drop shot. There's no way. Reciprocity's got to place it down. Yeah, they're definitely going to place it over. So we are going to see that drop shot fight. And, uh, you know. This actually benefited Rise last time, uh, right? The drop shot was placed pretty early on on training grounds, and that's when Rise really started to turn up. They didn't lose those fights. So this might actually, Reciprocity throwing a Hail Mary out there to change things up, but this could benefit Rise more so than Reciprocity. Yeah, we're going to find out. Shock in the first down on the powers. And someone's going to clean it up. Fran answers back with not one, but two kills. He finally gets traded out. 3v3 on the map. Our on long spawns. Icy is absolutely surrounded. Kill's coming through on both ends. We're sitting now at a 2v2 of X. He's going to throw that incense grenade. It's not going to connect Kenny. Has to be careful. He's the last player in the map, and he's getting hit by multiple angles. At the very least, the Rise Nation does secure the drop shot, so a strong initial coming from them. And Kenny, he's just surrounded. Look, he's going to have to make a big play to manage to get out of this. Look at Rise. Like They're all over the map. This is looking good for Rise Nation right now. They have overwhelming numbers. Reciprocity hasn't capped a single hill, Taylor. Yeah, and they're, they're down 60-plus points. That's, I mean, look look at that kind of start, right? You start off with the two-cap. You have the 70-point lead. You have the drop shot. Fran grabs one. His teammate Icy does as well. Icy ends up actually getting the, the full revive. These are long spawns with the drop shot. <laughs> Slides right in there of Vexies. you see that light coming through, Ryan, you know you're in trouble. Yeah, that could have been a potential push coming through for Reciprocity. Vexies puts an absolute stop to it with that power weapon. Okay, Reciprocity, Icy trying to get something started. The Vexies just as quickly shots it. Okay, misses a couple shots, no worries. Gets the kick in the face to get the finish. Reciprocity, they've got d &E, but they're also down quite a few points. And I believe, yeah, that was the other drop shot. So I think the drop shot now is out of play. So at this point, Reciprocity, what do they do with it? With that information? Well, it seems as if not a lot they could do. Rise, <laughs> Trix just... Trying everything he can to get the cap, he does get it. But Reciprocity looking to go big. Franchise gets two. Shock, he's going to be on the back pedal. Let's see if Shock can capitalize, or Franchise can capitalize in this moment. He does. Takes out Shock. Doesn't get the full finish. There it is. And now Reciprocity is looking to do what we see them do time and time again. Turn things in their favor when everything looks as if the odds are against them. They're going to need to do something. They're down by so, so much. Fran gets one, hits the big spread, but it doesn't connect in Zem. Doesn't end up getting the kill, and Taylor just like that. Three go down for Wreck. Rise Nation once again seeming to take control, and they have so much more wiggle room to play with, right? They have that massive lead. Oh, they and Drix goes down, and they don't get the actual kill. No. Big, big mental lapse from Reciprocity. You know you got to finish that kill. That would have been a big swing as Rush gets a kill of his own. Let's see if Reciprocity can make up for it. I, I think that player backed up to allow Powers with the snub to get the finish, but he just wasn't there in time. They were there for the revive. It was a great play coming in from Rise. Now Vexi's drops. Oh, and he Rush just gets a hit marker. Drop shot's not going to connect. Rise Nation making all the right plays. Now Rush gets approached. Drop shot in hand. If he dies here, that would be huge. And none other than Shock continuing to make play after play. That's four down. Limbs. Make that five, Taylor. Rise Nation now find themselves on map point, match point, and tournament point. They have been cruising since the second half of training. On rounds. paper, it makes sense that 
reciprocity would take over this victory, right? I mean, we've been seeing it in Pro League. We've been seeing it in Emergence Days. This might not be the case here. Unless reciprocity just starts playing out of their mind, Rise is going to win this. And I got to say, Rise has literally looked unstoppable, right? Well, let's go back to District with, uh, with reciprocity winning 5-1. It was at that moment, reciprocity literally looked like, okay, they're just going to wipe the floor of uh, Rise Nation. There was nothing Rise could do. You go, though, to training grounds, a different story, and then all of a sudden, Asylum, just a totally different story. It opened up the floodgates. The confidence is just absolutely pouring out of Rise. This could potentially be the last round of week number 10. Yeah, we're going to find out right now, of course, that drop shot. Going to command the initial. You're going to see so much utility on both ends. Shot grenades, incense grenades, everything in between. That drop shot is going to be completely covered as Rushies. Comes away with the first kill, two cap, favoring reciprocity. So looking like they maybe used some of the sh a strats, kind of use that shock to block off the weapon, go for that two cap, and the numbers now definitely favoring them. That's going to be four down. Drix, they can find him, will be the fifth. He has to push for that hill. Getting surrounded. Oh. That's going to be five dead. A quick round from Wreck. They still have a little bit of life, but there's so much work to do. 39 second round, you like to see that, but you put yourself in such a hole, right? You have to be near flawless for the rest of the map. Yeah, you can't give anything up. You can't lose an initial. You can't lose that drop shot, right? You can't lose more than two push uh, pushes on E. You, you really do have to be flawless, but it is a start nonetheless, right? In 39 seconds, that's a quick way to just bring it up 4-2 and forget about the rest, right? Short-term memory, and that's where reciprocity is at. Hey, same, you know, the shoe's on the other foot, man. You know, if, if Rise Nation can have that momentum push uh, from having a couple of good rounds and a couple of good maps, hey, reciprocity could as well. So if reciprocity starts getting that momentum figure and Rise out, Rise could be in trouble. Absolutely. And you see Shock choosing to disable the Ensign. I like that, That's right? They have their own, so now that makes that battle for uh, for that drop shot maybe a little bit more interesting. Yes, yeah, so I'm curious to see kind of where these teams choose to use them. And the battle we for saw the too. Well, we saw the, the shock grenade basically hit the weapon so that no one could even get on it. And the fight actually kind of almost happened around the weapon, right? Versus happening at the weapon. And that kill feed is underway. You're going to see downs on both ends. Frank gets first blood, but Rise Nation are completely surrounding that weapon. Detox opens up with a big double kill. Uh -oh. Inzem does pick the weapon up. Yeah, 4v3 advantage with the drop shot. Well, and Fran baits out Detox. Managing to stay alive, too. Shot going to fall as well. Franchise stays composed and puts both members of Rise on skates. That was looking surely like it was a heavy Rise advantage and somehow Reciprocity on the back of their captain have taken control of this round. Ryan, that was a fight Franchise shouldn't have took, but he took it and he came out on the other end well ahead of the game. That's just that veteran ship, right? He knew exactly his positioning. Shock, uh, I think he was trying to get away, ran into a wall. That was really his undoing, unfortunate, right? Unfortunately, unfortunately, right? So, you know, I, you could be playing so incredibly well, and then just little mistakes like that could uh, be the end of your life. This could be a swing, right? I mean, that is a bold play from Franchise. Him doing that. It's little moments like that that can really elevate your team to a different level. Drop shot's coming through, and it misses. I was going to say, one thing to keep in mind is that if Vexies has the drop shot still, ends up Approaching the fight and of course again the missing franchise back in the kill feed once again. 5v4 now. In favor of reciprocity. They're beginning to build that lead, of course, the neutral hill. On the other side from the weapon. So you gotta keep in mind the hill, you gotta keep in mind of the weapon spawning back up as well. Rise Nation looking like they're still trying to figure out where their push is gonna be made, where they're gonna throw that utility, right? Of course, if Exes has the drop shot, they need to make that sort of the catalyst. You gotta imagine they're gonna shoot it for rush. Nice goes for a long one. Got Ends it. up connecting, so Rushies will fall. That's going to give Rise Nation at least an opportunity to get this cap. See how long they can hold it for. Avexi's now out of drop shots as well, so one thing to keep in mind is the spawn of the new drop. And they at least have the up top advantage. You're going to see Fran completely surrounded, getting hit from up top, getting approached from middle. He ends up falling as well. So this puts Rise in a great position. Now they hold the hill. You're going to see Kenny go for the break. He's going to be forced out. Might even end up dying. Yeah, good shot. And now Rise have the hill and are in position to get the weapon. Rushies dies by the train. Powers dies as well. That was four down, one off spawn. And Rise Nation are positioned to now take the time lead. Now it's just Ice. Ice is going to get dropped too. Franchise, he's going to be up with Kinney and Rushies, but that's going to give a huge advantage. Drop shot is, in fact, going to be picked up as well. So Vexy is going to have that. Do they hit? They have two drop shots? They have the drop shot. They're gonna, they're gonna, he traded some ammo. Okay, so, so now they're going to have two players with drop shots. We're at the 200 point mark. They have the hill. 
Barring a disaster, That's you have one. to imagine Rise Nation will finish this. That's a double kill by Avexis. Make that a triple oh kill by Avexis. Gosh. E is back in their control. Three dead for Reciprocity. Make it for Icy, the last remaining member, of course. There's only one member left. He's going to end up falling as we cross now the 240 mark. No one, of course, in position to make the play. A huge comeback started this massive movement, and it is Rise Nation who do win Asylum 5-2 to two and are your winners of this week's Emergence Day. Congratulations to this new team with this new roster, new coaching staff who continue to impress us leading up to the major.